Hello, this is Christopher with Puget Systems. I'm creating this video to show you today how to initialize and format a brand new hard drive. The first thing you'll notice is if you go to this PC or wherever your drives usually show up, I've got a new drive connected, but it's not showing up. You actually see two drives. You see a C drive and a D drive, but you do not see uh, the E here, which is uh, or which would indicate the, the new drive that I've plugged in. It doesn't show up because Windows won't see it until you've formatted it. And the way to do that is below. So I'm going to close that and I'm going to actually right click here on the start menu. Now again, I'm right clicking, I'm not left clicking. And it brings up this wonderful special menu, uh, which has a bunch of different options. But uh, today we're just going to deal with disk management. So I'm going to click on disk management here and it's going to populate. Now you'll notice right from the get-go, it's actually asking if you want to initialize the disk. Uh, this drive is smaller than two terabytes, so we're gonna go ahead and tell it, yeah, we wanna initialize it. And we also wanna make it uh, MBR, the master boot record. The thing is, if you have a drive that's larger than two terabytes, you wanna actually switch to GPT. Uh, in GPT, it, it supports the larger drives, but it doesn't work with a lot of older versions of Windows. So you kind of have a trade-off there. MBR works with just about any drive you want, uh, and work, or sorry, any version of Windows you want, but it doesn't work with larger drives. So in this case, we're, lar we're smaller than two terabytes, so we're gonna go with MBR. We're gonna click OK. And it's actually gonna start to initialize here. And you look down here, it's actually, uh, I've expanded the window out a little bit so you can see the new drive. It's this disk two drive. And you notice now it's listed as online. Uh, if you don't have it initialized, it won't be listed as online. And you'll see it's got an unallocated partition here. And that's what that black line indicates, is that this is an unallocated partition. And what you want to do is actually make a new partition. So the way to do that is actually to right click it. And we're going to click on new simple volume, just kind of another word for partition. There's slight differences, but they mean pretty much the same thing. Um, we're going to go ahead and click next here. And we're going to let it do its default, and we're going to let it default to the E drive. You could, if you wanted to, set it to mount onto another uh, a folder. I don't recommend that. Uh, I, you could also change the drive letter if you want to go with a different drive letter. Again, not something you usually need to do, but something to keep in mind. And we're going to go ahead and click Next. We're going to get a few more options. Uh, we're going to ask the file system. I recommend sticking with NTFS unless you have a particular reason to go otherwise. Uh, we're going to leave the default uh, allocation unit size because that's perfectly fine for what we're doing here. And the volume label is going to go ahead and uh, you can leave it at new volume. I like to just delete it. Um, you can name it whatever you want, but I like to delete it. And then finally, we're going to leave this option here that says perform a quick format. Now you can choose to do a long format, but it takes a long, long time. And there's really not a whole lot of reason to do it with a brand new drive. Uh, you're better off, if you want to be sure of the uh, reliability of the drive, you're better off finding out whoever makes the drive uh, uh, and what utility they recommend. Because they usually have a, uh, for example, Western Digital has their data lifeguard diagnostic utility, and that's a better tool to test this with. In any case, we want to click a perform a clean, uh, we want perform a quick format to be checked, so we don't, we just leave it alone. Uh, we also do not want to enable file or folder compression, so I'm going to leave that alone as well. And I'm going to go ahead and click next. It's going to ask if I'm, uh, give me all kind of the details here to let me know what it's going to do. And I'm going to click finish. It's going to immediately uh, format the new disk. And ooh, this actually popped up before it finished. It's taking a little second here. Usually it doesn't pop up like that. And there we go. And now it popped up and, and finishes. And that's how you do it. Um, that's the entire step to the new drive. You'll notice if you go back to this PC, you'll actually see this new drive now. Um, if you have any questions or anything, you can contact us via support at pugetsystems.com. Uh, if you have a Puget computer, just have your order number ready uh, or your name, uh, some way for us to look up your records. Uh, if you don't have a Puget system, uh, I recommend using like Google uh, just uh, if you do a search for initialize and format and new drive and usually you can find some information that will be pretty detailed. Anyway, I hope, hope this has been helpful to you and uh, I thank you for your time.